So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker, Mr. Jamie Lowell. Yay. All right, thank you guys very much for coming out here. I really appreciate it. And uh, this is a really cool thing. And I'd just like to start off by acknowledging our staff and everybody that worked so hard to put this together. If we could really hear it for Tara and Dana and Kelly and Wayne and Ryan and Danielle and everybody who put this together, please. And I also want to reiterate, too, um, what both Wes and Tara said. One of the bigger, we're going to talk about these important current issues and uh, and some of the action items that we can take. But one of the bigger picture purposes here is to start forming this group, start being an association. And that's necessary in order to work together at times to help shape the course of this emerging industry. So we can do things that can alleviate legal risk and we can do things that can create a, a larger market share, easier uh, work within the industry as it evolves. So that's very important. And we'd like to, tra these meetings are going to go on every month, and we also like to, to get a listserv together, like a Google group together, so if somebody comes up with some information that is pertinent to the industry, uh, it can be shared easily and timely. Uh, so please, when, when you signed up, I think there's some information that we're requesting, uh, these, these things here on the table, please fill those out, and that will be the basis of this group that we start. Um, also, uh, it was brought up briefly, but just to touch on it a little bit more, as as many people here know, and by the way, this we probably this room represents a decent percentage of the very first participants in this emerging industry. That in and of itself is pretty cool too. So it's here for that. So we, and we all know to get here, we've had to be many of us have had to be part uh, activists and part business people. And sometimes somebody's more on one end of the spectrum than the other. But this is all coming together, and a lot of the actions that we take as activists help paved the way for this industry in terms of reducing legal risk and creating more market share. So we'll talk about uh, today how we can do that. The, the MAC organization was the first industry association, Michigan Association of Compassion Centers. Ryan Basor, uh, Wes, and myself were core founding members. And we started what became the MMFLA. We introduced uh, legislation via Representative Calton that was more reflective of how things were working at the time with the caregiver system and bringing overages to the central location to make it available for others. And it, it morphed into what we have now with the, with the heavy regulations and the restrictions and things like that. But this is, this is our start. And uh, another group that was involved in the MAC was Big Daddy's Association, uh, Big Daddy's Dispensary. And uh, Rick Thompson, who's with us here today, was a primary in that. So he was involved in starting that, that association. We've been working together for years. He's been doing his own thing, getting very uh, involved in media relations, um, getting word out to people, showing up and giving great testimony in Lansing, keeping aware of things. And uh, he's just really great to help facilitate these kinds of discussions. And so we've asked him here today, I'd like to invite him up to help me out with this discussion now. And let's hear it for Rick Thompson. And I want, to, I want to create the atmosphere here where people participate in this conversation. We have, these, we have this list of items to go through. If we don't make it all the way through, that's okay. If we make it all the way through and get into other items, that's okay. But the point, a lot of people here have experience and knowledge, and to uh, include that in this discussion is very welcomed. I know that uh, we might talk about the tax things. We have one of the CPAs we're working with could help out with that discussion a little bit. Uh, and, and many others who have something to add. And it's okay if we get off the beaten path a little bit, but uh, let's, let's keep in mind that we want to hear input and, uh, and get some participation out of everybody. Again, this is a group where we're helping each other. So uh, let's start off by talking about Jeff Sessions, and I'll bring Rick over here to help facilitate this, but is anybody worried about the Jeff Sessions rescinding the Cole memo? Okay. Is there any particular uh, concern, or just in general, the idea that uh, he took those protections away? Yeah, that's true. And I always concern anything I feel that there is you know, one. Uh, it will always be an X factor until it's resolved. I don't think there's a question about that. Um, I'll let Rick talk about it a little bit, but there has been some response to the actions taken by Jeff Sessions. <laughs> 